Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright guys, well today we're going to do a subscriber request and the question was can you uh, explain how to create curtains and more specifically uh, somewhat detailed curtains, so not just straight down but you know a little bit more to it. So that's what we're going to do, alright? So just to quickly uh, clean this up, I've been just doing some testing here, so no worries about that. So this is our scene. It's just a simple room that I put some textures on and some lighting on, and we're going to put some curtains in front of this window, okay? So we want a curtain on the left to kind of come down and wrap around this little thingy here. Uh, no idea what it's called. Uh, you know, I'm a guy and we're talking about curtains, so, right? But if you know what that thing is called, please let me know. So it's going to come down, it's going to wrap around this little bar thing here, and then come down here. We're going to do the same at the other end, and we're going to do kind of a banner type in the middle, okay? Cool. So let's start by creating a simple polygon plane, all right? We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it out. We're going to hit E, we're going to hold down J, and we're going to rotate it until it's straight up, like so. Then we're going to hit W, we're going to kind of move that into position towards our window here, hit F to zoom in, kind of pull that up and pull that in. Let's see how far we're from our window here. From the top, obviously it needs to, oh, there's still a nerve there. Okay, so this is it. So we're going to kind of roughly put that there. And then we're going to push it in because we want to have it close to the wall here. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of stretch that out. And then hit W and push that down until we have the height from our floor that we are going for. Okay, which is uh, good, I guess. All right. And then from this view right here, what we're going to do is we're going to start to manually tweak the uh, vertices to move them into position that they're behind this bar here. Okay, so we're going to right click at a vertex on this guy alone for now. We're going to hit R and we're going to push them very closely together. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to move that back until the one on the left is as vertical as possible. One more, okay. It's going to be kind of a guideline. And then for the bottom, we're going to do something similar. We're going to hit R. We want that to kind of flare out, but not as much as at the top. And again, we'll hit W, we'll bring that back in until the far left one is vertical again. And then from there, we're going to start to tweak. Okay, so let's uh, take this, kind of push that in and push that to the left. Hit R. And what we can actually do is hit the insert key, which allows me to move my pivot point to the end. So now if I hit R, it's much easier. So I hit the insert key, move it to the end, hit R. We'll do the same here. Hit the insert key, hit R, so I guess that top part's okay. Now we're going to go down here, and we kind of need to go from this point to that point, obviously. So we're going to repeat those steps. We're going to hit the insert key, move our pivot point right there, hit R to scale that in. And we kind of need to eyeball that a little bit. Just like that, hit the insert key. And again, hit R. 
and kind of aim towards that point. Take that, insert key, hit R and kind of scale that in. And one more, hit the insert key, move that right there, hit R. Okay, so we got that so far, not too bad. Height wise, and we're just gonna kind of cheat a little bit. We're gonna take this bar thing and we're just gonna hit W and move it up. So we don't have to completely tweak the curtain. Okay, then we're gonna take this our curtain so far. Let's bring that in to about there. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to edge. We're gonna double click and select, uh, not that one, sorry. Every other edge row, like so. And then we're gonna push that in. Well, it's better to push it out, I think, because of the space we have behind our curtain. All right. And what we're gonna try here is hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode and hit three to smooth out. And that's what we got so far. Let's kind of tweak it a little bit more because it's conflicting with our thing again, whatever that's called. And sometimes you just have to kind of cheat a little. Okay, so let's see what we've got so far. I guess that's not bad. All right, so we're going to take this. We're going to go to edit, delete by type history, and uh, modify center pivot. And then we're going to do a duplicate special. Okay, so we're going to go to edit, duplicate special, option box, edit, reset settings. Now, I want this to be, this is our my x-axis. I want this to be scaled to negative x, okay? So negative one on x, duplicate special. And I can now pull that out, bring it back in a little bit. And let's just have a look. Seems to be okay. All right, nothing odd going on there. Okay, and now for our banner section, okay? Not very different from what we have done so far. We're gonna take a uh, polygon plane once again. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out. Hit E to rotate, hold down J while you whoop, flip it until it's upright. Oops, a bit too far. Yeah, there we go. We're going to hit W, we're going to move that into position, kind of close to where we need to be. After zoom in, and uh, we kind of want to have our banner in front of this. Okay, so we need to hit R to scale it out. And probably even over the complete width here. So let's hit W. And then we're going to bring that up to the same height. We're going to hit the insert key. We're going to move our pivot point to the top here. And by holding down V, we can snap it to that vertex. So now if we hit R, we can kind of move that up to until we have the lowest point, if you will. So we're just going to have a look. How far do we want the banner section to droop down, if you can call it that, okay? I guess that's all right, cool. And now we're gonna start to tweak this like we did before. Look centered. So we're gonna right click at our vertex. And let's see, if I take that and hit the insert key, there we go. I can move my pivot point up.
and it's now at the top. And what we'll do is we'll do the same here. Let's see how that responds. What I'll probably do is mirror it over. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yep, that's what I'll do. Okay. So I'm going to hit R. Let's hang on one sec, guys. I'm just going to do that right now. Right click face. Am I or am I not? No, I'm not. Sorry about the confusion, guys. Okay, so right click vertex. I'm going to take these and these, and we're going to push that way in. And then hit W and pull that up. Okay, this is going to be our lowest point in the middle here. So we're going to take this one and that one. And again, we're going to hit R, kind of bring that in, hit W, bring that up. And we kind of need to level that out, obviously. So uh, let's see, that's this guy. And move that up. And then this one and this one. Working out okay so far, I guess. Hit W, move that up. And then this one and this one. Hit R to kind of scale that. And W to move that up. Okay. We might need to tweak the last one a little bit. So we'll take that. Hit the insert key. Move the pivot point up. Hold V to snap it to the top. Hit R. Okay. Guess that looks all right. We're going to right click the object mode. Let's select that. Then we're going to move in. We're going to right click, go to edge. Double click on that one. Skip one row. That one. That one. And the one up there, we're not seeing that. Let's hit four for wireframe mode. We'll do it anyway. Select that one. Hit five for shaded mode. We're going to hit W. We're going to kind of pull that out. Not too much. We don't want it to stick through our board here. Okay, looks good. Right click object mode. There we go. Hit three to preview smooth. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take all three. And we're going to kind of see if we can push it back just a little because we have some room to do that all right now like i said they're preview smooth they're not smooth so i'm just going to select them and i'm going to go to mesh and smooth all right subdivision wise i don't have any poly count issues so i can just uh, set that to a nice high level all right and then what I'll do is I'll select it, right click, assign new material. Let's do a, uh, let's see, let's do a blend. I'm going to go into color and let's do kind of yellow, but very, very close to white. Okay hardly any yellow in there otherwise it's just going to look dirty okay like my wife always tells me you know curtains should not be light yellow because then they're dirty all right so i got that um let's see and then we are going to go into transparency because i kind of want light to come through it and we kind of need to tweak that setting because it's hard to tell where we need to end up okay I want to bring down the reflectivity because I don't want curtains to be shiny. All right. So that should be good. We're going to turn on our texturing. I'm going to go to view bookmark and new. And I'm just going to pause the video, hit the render button, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. Well, here's our render. Um, as you can see, the uh, curtains, I think they turned out okay. 
to add some uh, realism, what you can do is go to the bottom section of your curtain and kind of tweak that bow here. You know, kind of looks unnatural that it's coming like that. It should be more a, a curve flow like this. But, you know, the technique is exactly the same, so there's not really a, a need to, uh, you know, move another 10, 20 minutes on this video. Uh, I think the, uh, the method is clear, so have fun with that, and if you have any questions, let me know. So, thank you guys for watching, and for those guys out there that are a patron on my Patreon site, uh, you will receive the link to the uh, files uh, in your email. Okay, thanks.